Hi all, it's day six of SSS VEDA and today it's supposed to be how you start your week off right. Well I'm going to stop you right there because my week did not start out right. It was a complete disaster and I'm now recording my uh, daily video from my bedroom where I'm about to indulge in some house of cards while uh, chatting in atomic chat on Twitter. I'm just absolutely done for the day. So you're probably wondering what happened to make my week start off so bad. Well, I uh, went to log on to my website today only to find out that every single one of my domains were down. Um, I had my WordPress installations hacked and because of that all my websites were affected and my host shut down everything. So I could not access any of the WP admin files or anything else. I was left with a virus, or maybe not a virus, but scripts that had embedded itself within um, about five different WordPress installations. And I then went through the day trying to figure out how do I get rid of it myself? How do I proceed from here? What can I just scrap? Do I have backups for anything? Of course, my backups were not working right, and my updates, or my updraft backups, were in a folder that were also compromised. Um, not very smart thinking on my part. So in the end it's being worked on. I have delegated some of the tasks and I'm looking for a new host. And next Monday I don't expect to have this problem. But you know what? It gave me a lot of thinking to do too. We talk about spending our time wisely and how we can maximize our time and how we can even start our week off great. And we can do that by delegating some of the things that we just don't like to do, we're not very good at, or we can do, but really it's taking too much of our time. Because in the end, we have to think, what is our time worth? Sure, I could go and eventually learn how to fix all my websites, but that is my time, my money, my energy, my tears, my sweat, and my blood. Yeah, I sort of uh, cut my finger today too, which didn't help things any. Uh, but yeah, all that time being wasted, all that energy being wasted, all that frustration and anger and tears, I didn't need that to start my week, and neither does anybody else. So if there's something that you're not strong at, something that really you don't like doing or really pains you, start delegating as soon as possible. I know it's hard. I know money can be tight. I know it can be, it's just not the right time. You just need to get through this month. But you know what? Looking back, it would have saved me this whole day of pain that has not only set a mood for my week, but also caused so much havoc in my day where I had other things planned, other things I needed to do. And now I'm behind in that, so I feel angry with myself for that. But you have to remember that even though I had this horrible day, and all my sights down and everything else, I also had a great learning experience and a great awakening. I now know that I should have delegated earlier. I've learned from that. I've learned moving forward what I'm going to do and what I'm going to make sure I do. And I'm not going to let myself go through that pain anymore of doing things that I really should not be doing that I sort of have a clue about, but maybe I'm not the best person to do it. So to all of you, I hope you're all having an absolute wonderful Monday and that everything went well for you. Um, and yeah, I'm going to just keep moving forward. What do I normally do on a Monday? Well, normally on a Monday, I like to start out the day with a great health smoothie and uh, then set tasks for the week. What do I want to accomplish? I take a look over my um, scheduler or my calendars and see what's coming up, what's in the week ahead. I prioritize things I need to do and throw them up on my whiteboard. What do I need to get done that week? And then as I cross each thing off, I just feel really, really good about it. And I also book time to uh, do things with friends or other downtime. You need to have that little bit of enjoyment, that little bit of laughter in your life because once you have that happy moment or two, it really brings you back and centers you. Uh, for me today, it was having a great conversation with a friend when I went over to drop one of my kids off. Of course, the kids are off school too, which uh, for anyone with a few kids at home, you know after four days of the kids being home, it can be a little bit chaotic. So that was a great relief to not only be able to have him spend a couple hours with a friend, 
but also to be able to have a great talk with my own friend and find out what she's got going on in her life. But anyways, that's about all for today, and we will touch base tomorrow for day seven, and hopefully by then everything will be back on track, my websites will be up, and I'm looking forward to it again. Um, so have a great week, and we'll see you later. Bye.